guys, it's Rihanna, and I honestly wish I could tell you right now I wasn't filming on my phone. Um, I literally haven't filmed on my phone in like my whole YouTube career. <laughs> um, but today I really want to bring you guys the Paramore After Laughter reaction video because a lot of you guys like watching my reaction videos. And if I'm gonna do this, I have to do it today because that one came out today. And honestly, I tried filming this video so many times, but my SD card or my camera is messed up, something, I don't know. Every time I try to film something, it just deletes it, so... And there's nothing on my SD card, so I really don't know what's wrong. But, um, besides all that negative stuff, today we're gonna be reacting to After Laughter by Paramore. If you're unfamiliar with my reaction videos, what I do is I bring up the album on iTunes, or Apple, or... Something, I don't know. And I listen to the preview. That way I'm not sitting here for 50 minutes because I don't have time for that. So first we have Hard Times, which I heard and I literally love that song to death. Like it's my favorite thing. Literally love that song to death. Okay, the next song is Rose Colored Boy and they spelled it the American way. I'm so triggered. <laughs> Okay, this is keeping with the like 80s pop music theme, which I'm pretty sure is a theme for the whole album. I don't know why they would only make one 80s pop song and the album artwork is really 80s like too. Um, they're kind of doing the same thing as 1975, but from what I can hear right now, a lot more 80s pop. Yeah. Oh my god, I love that. I don't know if you heard that, but it was like sound. Scream? Not scream. I don't know. Talking thing? Sounds really 80s. Okay, the next song is called Told You So, which is another single. Um, I really like this one too. Not as much as Hard Times, but I did like the song. Really like that song. I need to watch the music video. I haven't watched that yet. But um, the next song is called Forgiveness, which I saw was a lot of people's favorite online. I don't know. Oh, this is kind of slowing it down a bit. It has a cool sound to it. It sounds really 80s. Oh, I love Haley's voice so much. I like that song. It has a really nice like sound to it. The next one is called Fake Happy, which is my everyday life. What? <laughs> the lyrics though. This might be my fave. I'm really liking this one. It's not the best sounding, but it's my favorite lyrically so far. Really like that. Ooh, whatever instrument that is. That's why we're waterproof mascara, honey. Um, the next one is 26. Well, we're going even slower now. This is like a real slow track. This would be a good song if I was feeling emo, but for once in my life I don't feel that emo, so. Ooh, I like those oohs. <laughs> oh, I'm so good at singing. The next one is called Pool. Oh, kind of bringing it up a bit. No air in my lungs? Me, because I'm dead right now. On the inside. This album sounds really cohesive so far, which is a really good thing, you know? It fits together. Next is Grudges. Um, yeah. I like the sound of the song. You really can't keep holding on to Grudges, it'll make you miserable. Um, the next song is called Caught in the Middle. Why does this sound so familiar to me right now? I swear to god I've heard this song before in my life. <laughs> Maybe I'm a time traveler and I like came back from the future after listening to this album. Okay. It sounds really good though. Like this might be one of my faves. So really, this one sticks out to me more. Kinda has a little bit of reggae vibes too. The next song is called Idol Worship. Ooh, I like that little sound. I don't know what that was. Um, this one kind of sounds generic to me right now. I mean, I, when I listen to it more, I'll probably get more of a feel of the song, but right now it just sounds generic, like, compared to the rest of the songs on the album. Okay, the next song is called No Friend, which has the least amount of popularity, so I wonder how it sounds. Is this talking? <laughs> okay, if you watch my videos, you probably know talking is, like, my favorite thing in songs. If it, if this is a whole talking song, I will lose my mind. I literally love it when songs talk. This is why I love Lot of Speak so much, because they talk all the time. Okay, so the last track is Tell Me How. It's 4 minutes 20 seconds. I'm kidding, um, but 
why are the last songs always the longest on albums? Have has anyone else noticed that or is that just me? Oh, we're bringing it back down for the last track. It sounds kind of like more generic too, but I'm still for it. Well, I think my phone's running out of space, so I'm just gonna have to finish the video here and listen to more of the album later. But for my first reaction, I really liked it. Um, I can see myself jamming to this a lot more in the summer. Not right now, I'm in school and I'm hella angsty and emo, but in the summer, you know? I really do like it. I love this change for Paramore. It's a good change. Fall up away. <laughs> Anyways, um, yes, I hope you enjoyed this video. I did those on my phone. I just really wanted to get this video up for you guys, so I'm honestly so sorry. It's on my phone. Um, like, hi, I paid how much for this for, for me to film on my phone? Like, I love my life. But yes, thank you so much for watching. I love you all so much. Hope you have a wonderful day. Remember to smile. Be sure to check out the new album. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Oh.